Hello there, people of the internet. I started it a while ago, but we're probably just gonna junk that because I've started getting upset, and it is now almost seven o'clock. We're making some pierogies. The potato and cheese, got the noodle stuff under here that we'll have to do. What I was saying though is, Rev's been really difficult today, and that's why we're just now starting because oh, we've just been trying to get stuff done and it's been difficult. So, we're getting there. She's taking a nap right now. Ariana was having some difficulty editing her video. Today was just not our day. <laughs> no. But I still got stuff accomplished today. Yeah, you did I get the video surprised. filmed. So I, I thought like it was like two o'clock and Revlin wouldn't nap. I don't know what's going on. If she's teething, her teeth don't, her, her gums don't look like it. Like I looked, like really looked tonight and there was nothing. She was just really not having it. Uh, uh. And so I didn't think I was gonna get it edited, or get it filmed. I was, didn't think I was going to get a video film today at all. But then she thankfully went down and then she was out for like two hours, which is long for her. She just want my happy little girl back. She just seems miserable. Yeah. Like, even holding her, she yeah, is she upset. Yeah. She's screaming, and it's like, there's nothing we can do at that point. She won't let me color, nothing. Yeah, Took she... her out on the porch, not even like sitting outside helped. Obviously, it's been a rough, rough evening so far, but it's getting better. We're actually getting dinner made. Like we said, she's down for a nap, so we're able to get some stuff done while she's napping. Yeah. And hopefully when she wakes up, she's a bit happier, and then we'll be able to get her on some video for you. Because we love to keep it real, but trust me, you don't want to just hear her <laughs> screaming. No, you like, don't. <laughs> no. And for those of you parents, you can probably relate when they just don't stop screaming. Like, it's frustrating. <laughs> like, you just want it to stop. But... There's just nothing you can do. Mm-hmm. We're gonna hopefully get some more things accomplished and then like I said, hopefully she'll be happy. And like even before the camera wouldn't even make her happy. Yeah, we tried Which to. that is like strange. She loves the camera, you know. But even the camera wouldn't keep her happy. Don't put it in there. We got the noodles rolled out. And it looks just like dough. It's like cookies. Let's bake them like cookies. Mm, they would not be very tasty. Oh, fine. Look who woke up from her nap. Much happier. Yes, much. Still a little cranky, but <laughs> we're putting the potato mixture inside now. So I'm using my melon baller. And you basically just stretch your noodle Squish around. It. And you take Squish your it. fork and you squish the edges together. So. Obviously, Rev's screaming. She's on the toilet. She's got to poop. I sang a song to her last night, and it made her poop. So, we're going to try it again and film it this time. We need to poop. One, two, three, four. Let's push a poop out the door. Ready? One, two, three. Push! No luck tonight. <sighs> Finally got somewhat of a happy camper, at least. <gasps> Do you like this reclining position? Is this really what what the solved the problem? Oh yeah, you putting that on your head? You're being cute now, huh? They're done. I don't think I'm ever making them again. No. Maybe if Revlin isn't cranky next time. Yeah. This was the worst night to try to make a meal that takes this long. Yes, it was. 
Because you... <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't think so, lady. We finished dinner. It was really good, so... That's awesome. So Rev is in bed now. Um, last night, she soaked through her diaper, so got like the sheet and what's that mattress cover? What? So we had to wash that and so I was putting it back on and so I had the mattress out and I just laid it on the floor after I um, put the new sheet, the clean sheet and everything on. I was just sitting like this and Rev was sitting here facing me and um, Daisy kept running in with her blue bone and she'd drop it like right by Rev and Rev would pick it up and just be all smiley and then like somewhat throw it and days ago, yeah, and so just doing that, that was probably about 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes that she was doing that, so she was happy towards the end, and that's good. Uh, she ate good, and yeah, now she's going to sleep. Ariana finished uh, taking care of everything with the dinner, packing it up, packing up the leftovers and whatnot, so now she's in bed because she is exhausted. Understandably, she's been dealing with Rev being difficult all day, plus getting everything else done and making dinner. She did a wonderful job, and I don't blame her. She's tired. So I'm just cleaning up the kitchen. Then I'm going to go get in bed because it's been a long day. Oh, my. So that's what I'm doing. As Ryan has already told you guys, it's been a tough day. <laughs> um, but, but... I actually did get everything I wanted to accomplish accomplished and I actually got more than I wanted to accomplish accomplished. So I'm very happy about that. I was like this close to thinking I wasn't going to be able to film my video, but it got filmed. So um, I'm just thankful that I was able to get my goals accomplished that I had set for today, even with a bump in the road of not knowing that Revlon was going to be having such a tough day. Definitely was probably one of the toughest days that we've had with her for sure. Hopefully it's just growth spurt or something and it's nothing like seriously wrong. I mean, she she doesn't have a temperature. She seems like fine. She was much happier after she got some dinner because I don't know if Ryan told you, she didn't eat lunch. Tried to feed her dinner earlier in the day, um, earlier in the evening, like at a normal decent hour. She didn't want to eat. I'm just glad she ate some dinner so her tummy is nice and full before bed. So she's been sleeping really well. So hopefully that continues because last night, like Ryan said, she leaked um, and she kept waking up every four hours. So <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. She was doing so good. She was sleeping between 8 and 11 hours and then she'd go right back down after eating until it had been 12 to 13 hours. Um, so yeah, I definitely think it's just like a growth spurt or some something obviously going on. It's not just she decided to be cranky. <laughs> um, but it's been sad that she's been so upset today. Not being able to just at least hold her and make her happy. Like even that didn't work. Days like these when you get so frustrated because you don't know what to do, but then you just like feel bad because you don't know what to do. You just want to help him, but like there's literally nothing you can do. So gave her Tylenol. I mean, we tried everything. So I'm just glad she's sleeping. But I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit. Obviously today was kind of a downer vlog. And I apologize for that. But we all have those days. And we had one today. <laughs> and I feel like we've we've been really good at getting out of the house and doing fun stuff lately. So, you know, life is life. And sometimes we just have a day at home where literally it took us three hours to cook. Our child was really fussy. And we did nothing but really cook. <laughs> um, and try and just help Revlin feel as best as she could. So... I'm sure you guys understand. Revlin asked you guys what your favorite cheese was. It was fun to read all your answers. So my favorite cheese though is, what is it? Someone guessed Parmesan. That probably is like one of my top favorite cheeses for like topping or just putting in anything is definitely Parmesan. But I love me just a big block of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Like that, if there's a cheese that I would eat alone, it's extra sharp cheddar cheese. So that probably would be my favorite because it's the only one that I would just eat like a large amount of alone. Parmesan, like I'll have like a little tiny like finger pinch of every once in a while, but not really. Sandwiches, pepper jack, hands down, my favorite. I really like freshly grated 
Parmesan. Basically, with Parmesan, I like to take like a scoopful and just eat it. A freshly grated Parmesan. Mmm, so good. Like, I really like string cheese. I eat it all the time. I'm really not that fond of it anymore. But, <laughs> um, Colby Jack. That's good stuff. Don't ever get it, but I like it a lot. <laughs> Today's question of the day is gonna be, should it be like, um, what's your favorite topping, additive, spice? What do you normally put on your food? I know some people always put ketchup, some people always put salt. What do you always, or most often, put on your food? So that's today's question of the day. Make sure you leave your answer down in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And welcome to the Flutter Fam. As always, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. The problem is that you got your feet in the way there. You gotta get up on your feet. Oh, are you waving to the Flutter Fam? Just laying on the floor here. With my little girl, drinking her juices. Yeah.